It's a god awful small affair to the girl with the mousy hair. But her mummy is yelling no, and her daddy has told her to go. But her friend is nowhere to be seen. Now she walks through her sunken dream to the seat with the clearest view. To the silver screen, but the film is a sad thing for. For she's lived it ten times or more. She could spit in the eyes of fools as they ask her to focus on the scenes. Fighting in the dance hall. She's ready. Yes, we have found others to watch.
What would you ask if you could speak to yourself from the future?
So how long has it been this time? One year exactly. Anything I should know about? Do I tell him? Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, does the world end? Uh, well, that can't be good. He won't even answer that. Did we move? I know we were looking into moving to a new place. Do you still live here? No, we don't live here. What's changed? Two years ago you were so talkative. We moved to Norfolk, okay? Okay. Over the last year, you made a lot of decisions. And I don't want to risk influencing you in a way that might change them. Okay, let's keep it simple then. Do we have a good year? Arguably the best year of your life, but also possibly the worst. Okay, so how's school then? Look, you're going to have to ask some more general questions, you're pushing it. Okay, so school's one of the bad points then. I get it. Not exactly, anyway. What else can I say? Okay, I know you well, because I am you. Just be sensible with this information, okay? It's not fixed, it can change. What to say isn't fact, it's just reassurance. Okay, tell me. So you start work. That's good. I mean, it wasn't under the best circumstances, but yeah. That's good. You said reassurance, so reassure. What's Norfolk like? I bet it's great. It's great. It's a waterside house. You'll like it. Good, that's more like it. Do we get a boat? Yes, it's like a new level of drama on the broads. People instinctively keep a two metre distance, even when in a boat, so we've had a few head-on collisions. Why two metres? I told you, it's been an eventful year. That's all I can say. Look, I've got to go. See you in a year. Two metres? Give us your money! I hurt myself 
today To see if I still feel I focus on the pain The only thing that's real The needle tears a hole The old familiar sting Try to kill it all away But I remember everything What have I become? My sweetest friend Everyone I know Goes away in the air And you could have it all
coming here a lot recently. I guess I've been more distant. Why did you call me? I've got this piece of work to do in a few minutes. How have you been doing? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just tired. You were tired yesterday. And I'll be tired tomorrow. You're unconcerned. I'm not unconcerned. You're unconcerned. I'm not unconcerned. I'm unconcerned. No, uh, unmotivated. Okay, name all. Well, I'm concerned about stuff. Ah, uh, I've been talking to myself a lot recently. Touche. It was uh, to write a small piece of dialogue. Oh, you can do that. Yeah, I, I can do it, but it's just. What is it? Be outside of reach, like I'm drowning in my own thoughts, grasping for air, but I just can't quite. Like there's an anchor digging into my heel. Keeping me from getting anywhere above 10 feet from the floor. Like... And here I am, you know, sitting on the ocean bed. Talking to myself rather than doing anything to change my situation. Like I want... I want to get up there, I want to, you know, go back to normal, go back to how it was before. But I don't think, if I set my mind to it, I don't think it will be, I don't think I'll get up there, I think it will be some other version of me, some other, if I reach the top it won't be me. Like, yeah, I am it's killing me to be here, but No, I don't think I can be up there. I don't think I'd survive up there. Look, you've got work to do and we've been here chatting for five minutes. You should probably get back to it. What do you think it's all for? What do you mean? Like the point, what's the point of life? What's the... What's the meaning? Beats me. What do you think? Don't... Write this down. You know, I can't promise that. Okay, I... Don't think there is one. No meaning? No meaning. Like, I mean, we're just specks on a one in a trillion cosmic fluke. Just like how ants don't have to consider a greater purpose, why should I? You go for your whole life, sleep for a third of it, and then it's over. You know, weekends turn into weekdays, months to years. Before you know it, you've forgotten. The only reminder of you is a fading name on a rock in a field somewhere. So, why should I write a small piece of dialogue? 
I found life gets a lot easier when you realise you don't matter at all. I've been coming here a lot recently. I guess I've just been more distant. So why did you call me here? Well, uh, I've got this piece of work to do in a few minutes. You okay? Yeah, I'm just tired. You were tired yesterday. And I'll be tired tomorrow. You're concerned. I'm not unconcerned, I'm... Unconcerned? Unmotivated. And that's better. What? I'm concerned about stuff. Okay, tell me one thing you're concerned about. Well, um... I've been talking to myself a lot recently. Uh, great, got it. And uh, that's lunch. Uh, can I have a talk with you? Uh, just gonna get some notes. Uh, loved what you did in the last take. <laughs> so great. Uh, yeah, thanks. Uh, the, uh, could you play it up some more in the next take? You know, just give me some more. You said next take? Well, yeah, I'm doing this again. It's not a one and done thing. <laughs> Amateurs, am I right? <laughs> Look, with the realisation that I've just been through in the last couple of scenes, along with the work, the amount of grief you must have must be massive. You know, just play into that. And Look, then I'm, I'm lost. Can I have a look at the script? So I feel like in this uh, next take, your character's lost, but he just made a breakthrough, so he's about to announce it to the world. Right, okay. What's wrong with you? Huh? You heard me. Just a bit out of the... Is it? Fine. I don't know. Why'd you ask? You know I asked. I guess I've had a lot going on. Stop using those excuses. Why do you care? Because I care about you. No way. When I was going through it all, you were absolutely nowhere to be seen. When you filled in that questionnaire, you put straight men. Do you think we have free will? You're dodging the question. You already knew the answer. Free will, do you think we have it? I think the existence of us proves we don't. Sure, I'll be honest, I have no idea what that means. Well, like, we didn't choose to be here. You can choose to leave. I guess, but experiencing life was an inevitability. Why do you think we value human life greater than plant or animal life? Some would argue that the savoring of life comes from the illusion of superiority. Would you argue that? I wouldn't disagree with the statement, sure. Do you think that's why we value ourselves as less? I do, yeah. If we see ourselves below people, life becomes less worth savouring. But back to the question, why did you hesitate to say you're a straight man? It didn't feel right. Are you sure? Yeah. I don't know what I am, but it's not that. You're just confused. Probably. Can we at least consider it? No. And the gender thing? Don't say it. You can't disagree with science. XY chromosomes are a man's. You know I disagree with you. Anyway, aren't you supposed to be a part of me, like, 
part of my mind or something. I don't get it. It's not that simple. You wouldn't get it. Hey. Hi. I guess this is it. I guess so. Are you ready? Yeah. I never took much to scare me, I understand that now. I like to think I've changed, but then at that point all I saw was an empty and toxic world and it scared me to the core. It still does some decades later. I just wish I had done things differently. It's too late now. That wasted time is gone. It's the coming time which I still have some say in. I couldn't eat, I couldn't sleep. There was no peace. I was constantly tormented by what I had envisioned.
Everywhere I went, I saw the cane world. It was inescapable. And then came the peace. I wasn't to know it wouldn't last long. I used to think the hoarding was a shelter for me, but in truth it was a cage. What little relief and air of control I would get was quickly usurped by more fear. I wish I had left the habit back then. When I look back, I realise how little I've changed. I think it is now time. Enough of that has already been wasted.
I believe it. I'm lost my ring. Right. How good did I lose it? Well, I know I had it on before I went shopping. I got the bags tangled up in my rings when I took them out of the car without shopping in. I bet, I wonder if it's outside. Steve, oh, I'm Oh, jeez. Steve, I've lost my ring. You're going to have to come and help me find it. Shouldn't it be on your finger? I must have lost it outside when um, I was doing the uh, shopping bags without shopping in. Come and give us an hand. Retrace your steps. Thanks, love. Good afternoon. Do, uh, do, you, do you know who this ring belongs to? No, I'm sorry. Excuse me, do, do you know who, who this ring belongs to? No, I'm afraid I don't know. It's in, in mine because I, I, I've lost mine. Day. It took me a while to save, but I hope you love them. Music was my first love, and it will be my last. Music of the future and music of the past to live without my music would be impossible to do in this world of troubles my music pulls me through
the... I'm sorry, sis. I'm so, so sorry. Eight months, Jack. Eight months to save. Music was my first love And it will be my last Music of the future Music of the past, the music of the past, the music of the Music was my first love